Hello everybody, this is the uh, second video in a series of three video uh, in which I show uh, how to create uh, the little project uh, that I have presented in my video number 27. Uh, in, the in, the, in, the, in the video number 28 uh, I have created uh, our reference table, this one. Now it's time to uh, insert this uh, workbook, the, um, the active uh, queries uh, that, that will provide uh, uh, the ratings uh, that uh, each of these agencies assign to the various countries. Uh, to do that, we go to Google, we type country rating. The link uh, that we are interested is the first one. <coughs> Let's wait. Uh, Okay, we copy uh, the link from uh, uh, Internet Explorer, copy, and we switch back to Excel. Uh, now we go into the Power Query tab, and this time we uh, want to import data from the web. So we click the uh, From the Web button. Uh, we paste the link inside the, uh, the URL field, then we click OK. We wait that the Power Query retrieves uh, the website. It's a little slow, but with a little patience, we have it. So uh, here we have the list of tables that are inside the, the website. We are interested in table number 0, table number 3, and table number 2 in this exact order. So we start with table number 0, we click on it, uh, then we select the last column and we remove it, and then we press down. <coughs> Power Query inserts our uh, active table query. Again, a little patience. The table query has been inserted and we can change the name of uh, the worksheet in standard and pools. We go again in the Power Query tab. From web again, we paste, we paste another time, and we repeat the process. This time for table number three. We remove the column uh, that we are not interested, and we click on Done. Again, we wait that the Power Query retrieves our data. Perfect. We rename uh, this worksheet. And for the last time, we go to From Web paste our link and this time we click on table number 2 remove the column in which we are not interested and press done Our last active query has been inserted and we can rename it. <clears throat> OK. 
okay we can rename also our first table and uh, at this point we have the table and we have the queries the web queries the web active queries one thing that I want to point out is that uh, the Power Query inserts uh, the query inside uh, an Excel table. But uh, there is uh, a particularly uh, feature. Uh, the table that the Power Query inserts uh, has a fixed name. We cannot change the name of, the, of that table. So, remember, uh, the name of those uh, tables are fixed. Uh, in uh, the, uh, the next video, which is uh, the, uh, the last of uh, this uh, little series, we will see how to link uh, the tables, uh, the queries to this uh, table, and to make the whole thing dynamic. For the moment, Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. The material in this video is intended for instructional and educational purposes. I take no responsibility for the usage that you will do with those informations and instructions.